So in the previous video we looked at types and the idea of assignments, so you can give a variable a value. So you can give a variable you know, a number value, so we can say something like a equals 1, or we can give a variable a value based on other variables. So we could say um, b equals uh, a plus 1, for example. Now one thing I forgot to mention is um, that actually uppercase characters and lowercase characters are actually different different variables. So that was a typing mistake when I typed a capital A there. If I had uh, left that in there, it would have given me the wrong result. So B equals A plus 1. So now if I print uh, B, what will that give us? Well, it'll give us 2 because it's uh, A is 1, and then we add 1 to that, and that gives us... Um, two obviously and then we can so that's a mixture of variables and numbers you can also do something like c equals uh, a plus b and if we print c then that will give us three because a is one b is two so when we add those together we'll get um, three just as you'd expect um, also we can do the similar thing with um, text so if we say a equals hello and b equals world and then what we can do is we can actually you do a plus uh, there as well. So if we do A plus B, um, when you're using text, then uh, it will concatenate, which is the sort of program I speak for joining the text together. So that's quite useful for combining different bits of text from different locations. Um, so sentences with values of variables, for example. So if you ask somebody what their name is, then you can say hello and then use their name as part of the sentence. So common sense rules apply. So you can add text to text and you can add numbers to numbers, uh, but obviously you can't add uh, the two together. So uh, if I try and add uh, B plus C now, so C is still three. So the variables uh, don't change their values unless you explicitly uh, give them a new value. So if I do B plus C, so B is hello uh, is world and C is three, what it's gonna say is error and if you look what the error is it says you can't concatenate string and integer objects so you can't uh, join together numbers and text uh, in that way so that's it doesn't like that you can use that um, idea of coercion or sometimes called casting if you want to if you really want to do that so what you could do is you could say b which is the world uh, word world and we could add on um, you could use the command str to force c to become a string but you can't add numbers and strings uh, together on their own so that's sort of basic calculations um, what you can also do is give a variable a value and then adjust that value so this idea um, seems a bit alien if you're new to programming so if you did something in a game that had a score and you started off with a score of zero and you then um, did something which would cause your score to increase, you need to add one uh, to the score. So if you can do that quite easily in most programming languages like this. So score equals score plus one um, looks a little bit unusual if you're used to um, maths because in maths the equal sign means is equal to. So and obviously a number can't be equal to the same number plus one. But remember as I said in the last video, in Python the equal sign uh, it doesn't mean is equal to, it means make it equal to. So the bit on the left hand side, so the first use of the word score, is the new value of score, and the one on the right is the old value. So the way to read that would be, let the new value of score be the old value of score plus one. So reading it from left to right, score becomes score plus one. And if we uh, print that now, so notice it doesn't output anything when you do that. Um, then score is now 1 because it was previously 0 and we added 1 to it. Um, most programming languages um, have some sort of shorthand. So, uh, for example, C and JavaScript have something like that for adding 1. Um, in Python, uh, you can do this, plus equals 1, uh, and that adds uh, 1 uh, to the existing value or whatever number. So if you want 2 um, or 3, you can do that. But So if I add 1 in that way and print score, it should now be 2, hopefully. Yes, so we started off with 0, and we've added 1 twice, so we've increased the score. And that's a very typical use 
of a variable in a programming language. So at the moment we're using the immediate mode. If you use your variables in a program, the um, idea is pretty much the same. So you can do things like this, uh, a equals uh, 2, b equals 3. If I run that program though, what will happen? So remember when I run a program, the output appears in the main window, which is the, the bigger one surrounding this one. So if I run that program, notice nothing happens. So nothing happens because I haven't told it to output anything. So if I did print A plus B, for example, then uh, something would happen. So if I run that now, I get 5, which is what I expect because I present, pr printed um, the result of that calculation. So the running of the program always goes from the top to bottom. So if I then do something like this, what I'm doing is I'm changing the value of A. So now if I print A plus B, I'm actually only going to get 4 because A is now 1 by the time I come to print it. So if I run it, it's now 4 because uh, A has changed to 1. So 1 plus 3 uh, is 4. Um, if I were to move this line of program up here, what do you think this program will output? Let's have a look. Well, it's gone back to 5 now. And the reason for that, if you look at this program, is that um, it does change the value to 1 for A, but it does it after we've printed it. So at the end of the program, A plus B will be 4, but at the point we print it, it's actually 5. So